Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. This is the Moto G Pure. And we're going to be taking a look at 45 tips and tricks for the Moto G Pure in 2021. But if it's your, if it's your very first time to the channel, I truly appreciate you for coming through. If you're brand new, but if you're already a part of the crew, salute. Now the first place we're going to be looking in is settings and we're going to go to system and basically once we go into system you can actually locate something that's pretty cool on here called gestures and gestures is pretty cool because it's going to give you a lot of different things. It's going to give you the swipe for fingerprint to notifications so you use your fingerprint and you can pull down the notification sh shade right like that or you could pull it back up so you're going to activate that then you're going to double press the camera but you could also use the this this textured power button to launch the assistant but i like the camera better you also do have this to actually prevent ringing so press the power button and the volume rocker down at the same time and you will prevent ringing you also do have uh right here this power menu for device controls which it will on the lock screen sensitive content it'll sh it'll show controls when locked which is definitely another cool feature the next one is the three finger press on the screenshot and you can use that when you're scrolling through um, multimedia and you see something that you're only going to be able to see one time right you want to get a screenshot of that save it forever and then you'll have it for the rest of your life or basically whenever you need to get back to it then you have this option right here called flash screenshot and then it will flashlight fast flashlight and you can do a double tap on there and it'll turn on the flashlight right do it again and it'll turn it off so that's something that's cool then you have your swipe to split screen so let's just say you're in the play store and you want to see something from another app do a quick swipe to the right and left from the middle right and that's when it's going to split the screen and initiate that for you so you could do two things at once and then you can get back to that picture you were looking at or anything like that it's, it's going to do three quarters so you've got three quarters and you can also go up and then you can also do the landscape mode or the portrait mode but you can't do three quarters when you're in the landscape mode so i just want to throw that out there and so while you're in the option for system you can go into multiple users and you can activate that so that you will be able to add other guests and users for also from your lock screen which is pretty cool and then you can just hand your phone off to somebody without unlocking it and sign in as guest mode or make a new profile and it'll basically keep everything that you're doing in a safe place so that nobody's messing up your personal information now there's a lot of things in here in system so hit performance and what you want to do is hit performance because it's going to launch the quick it's going to the ai is going to learn your usage patterns to help apps open you know faster and everything like that and so to extend battery life on here you can basically turn off the sync option on here which is basically going to be on all the time but you could also turn off the location option as well that'll save battery you can also turn off gp uh, the wi-fi as well if you're not using it you can also turn on dark mode on this guy so you want to turn on the dark theme mode and that will those darker colors will give it better battery life in the long run so just keep that in mind as well another cool feature that you can find on here is going to be in battery and it's called the battery power savings mode and the power savings mode is going to basically add some life to your device so i think that's going to be another cool feature and you can you can find battery saver here as well but the power saving mode is definitely going to be a lot uh, easier to get to on here and whenever you enter that you can schedule it to come on and it'll basically turn on the dark theme it'll restrict background activity and visual effects and other features like hey google but it will save you battery as well now you can see the battery life on here i do have really good screen on time four hours and six minutes eight out 18 hours ago when it was last fully charged 
but one thing that you can do is go into here and it's going to basically have an option for you to um right here you can see adaptive battery and this is going to basically limit battery for apps that you don't use in the background which i definitely think is cool and then you could always manage your battery usage that way as well if by optimizing the charging they also do have an overcharging option right here so it will basically protect you and limit the charging when the device has been plugged in continuously for three days so it'll basically limit the battery from being drained over time so another another feature that's pretty cool so the along with the battery saver and the adaptive battery as well so just a lot of cool features for the battery and you can do optimized charging which will charge the the, tr the battery more efficiently as well and let's just say i had a device in my hand and i wanted to send a picture to another device that was next to me all i have to do is go into pictures go into the picture of choice right you can select that one hit the share option at the top then you're going to hit nearby share down below and once you hit nearby share, pick up the other device, right? Make sure that you have nearby share turned on from that device and it is turned on. So basically what will happen is once you select, let me select that again because it didn't save. Here we're going to hit that one more time and hit nearby share. And now it's sharing the option here. So the phone will get an option right here for the nearby share you're going to hit that option right there and then it's going to say accept on the other device and that's when you'll accept it and then the the it'll quickly share but uh, the photo between two separate devices which is pretty cool now another feature that this device does have is wi-fi calling so it's it's located right here there's an actual button for it on the navigation bar and you can hit that when you're connected to the wi-fi and do phone calls through there depending on what carrier you're using another thing is this phone does offer the option to move some of your apps so basically you can open it up right here by entering a pin inside of it which comes with the phone pull that out make sure that you put your sim card back in there after it falls out because it will probably fall out unless you're not careful and then put the, the the sim in there as well as the sd card along with there because you're going to get expansion and then after the sim card with the sd has been inserted in the phone you can move all your pictures inside of this device and i'm going to show you that in just a second but first i want to show you some of the apps that you can move so just keep in mind you're going to be able to move you know files photos and videos to the sd card but it won't actually let you use the, you know, you can't move apps to the SD card. So I just kind of wanted to throw that out there as well. Another thing that you might want to know is that if you're using this device, you can connect it Hello, Moto. to your actual automobile. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now. But do me a favor, if you're enjoying the video so far, do me a huge favor. Hit both the like and the subscribe button. I would truly appreciate you for helping out the channel and supporting the information that we're releasing here but i'm going to jump into the way that you would connect it to your device to your car right now so basically what you would have to do is go into bluetooth and it has the option here where you can quickly get into that setting where it actually connects to your the the android auto on your device so you you long press that bluetooth icon and then you click here, connection preferences right here. And then you're gonna see right here, Android Auto. And then you could use the apps on your car screen from your phone. And basically you're gonna hit connect car and it's gonna search for your car on the, the thing. So you, to, to get started, you plug in your phone to the vehicle's Android compatible USB port, connect the cable and then it starts. And then it's gonna connect it to the screen on your car, which is crazy. Now another thing that's cool is that this device will give you the option for screen calling so you can hit that in the middle and basically it has your personal assistant right here which will answer the phone call for you and it will ask you to say why you're calling. So basically it will screen the call for you and depending on what that person says 
it's gonna basically pick that up and whatever they say on the other side it's gonna show that on your screen and then you're gonna basically get the option to either pick it up or whatever but I definitely think that's cool that you get the option to hang up or pick up the phone call right here on the side menu and then it says right here sorry they can't take the call right now but thanks and goodbye now another feature that you should probably take care advantage of when you're using this device is the actual text to type right here on the right hand corner of your device you could hit the when you when, when you're in um google assistant it's going to be here then you could just um search for derrick rose statistics last night and then it'll give you the option to search for whatever you're looking for by voice and if you want to do a text um message or whatever instead of that you can see there is some scrolling lag on this device it's not the, the fastest one in the entire world but let's just say you wanted to do like um text to type you would just hit the keyboard here in the text message and there's a small icon right here and you you could say you could start talking hey what's going on what's your day looking like today you trying to chill later on let me know and then you could send that or whatever and it's pretty cool because it's a quicker way to actually type on your smartphone now another thing i like about this device is the fact that it does have android 11 so you are able to get the chat bubbles feature inside of the settings when you go into notifications so you just hit advance and then you're going to see the notifications option right here pop up and it's going to have conversations at the top so you, you're going to have the conversations here at the top but you're also going to have the notifications and then you're gonna have the chat bubbles right here below it. And you could turn that on. These conversations will appear as floating icons on the top of uh, other apps. So it's definitely pretty cool that they do give you that screen overlay, the screen overlay feature, which is cool. But do me a favor, grab a uh, bite to eat real quick. Pause the video right now. You know what I'm saying? Cause it's gonna be a minute that I'm gonna be here. So pause the video, maybe get a drink. Come back in like, you know, 10 minutes, five minutes, two minutes or whatever, and I'll get right back with you. All right, maybe you just got a bite to eat and you're good. So let's just jump right back into the video. So basically what you want to do is set timers for certain um, apps. And you can do that by going into notifications. And right here it says set the screen on time right here that you're actually using the device. Um, so you can basically set the time that you want for yourself to be in certain apps which is going to be pretty crazy because um it's going to give you an option to basically set timers on there so basically what you would want to do is hit this um, option where it says see all and then basically well actually now nah, you hit screen time right there at the bottom and then it gives you the option to set timers for apps right here so let's say you didn't want to be on facebook for too long you could set a timer right here to, to only be on facebook for maybe you know 40 minutes a day or something like that and then that this timer would be set for 40 minutes so that you would only be able to use facebook for 40 minutes but then you could turn that off if you decide you want to use it longer but it's just a nice reminder that you have on this device you also have this option inside of display where you can view the all of the apps in full mode right here so you would go into display from the settings option and then you would just basically just go into full screen and then you would turn on the apps that you would want to be able to vote view in full screen you know and you could utilize the whole entire screen on that now, now look, another feature i really do like about this device is it does have that peak display and it's really crazy because when you get a notification or something like that, you can actually peek at the notification without unlocking the device. And I think that's something that's really cool, really solid about this device. So let's just say you had the phone laying down and then maybe like after a few moments of having it on the, on the table, you decide to check your notifications, right? So you pick it up. You're gonna be able to long hold here and swipe across each little tab and it'll show what's on the display but like underneath it while the phone is unlocked 
and then you can just put it back down real quick, which is cool. Now, another feature in display is gonna be the way where you change your wallpaper and everything of that nature. So you would basically go back into the display, right? And you would go into the option right here where it says styles. So just hit styles and you're gonna be able to change not only the icon shape, but also the custom layout and color and even the text. So I have these ones preset that I've made for myself. So you're gonna see that the theme is gonna entirely change after a moment of it loading. And it's almost finished loading. So now the icons are gonna be different and the color background is gonna be different as well. So I now have that blue color and everything just looks, um, gives it a different vibe and look. And you could also change the text as well. So now the text looks different, the icons and the, the highlighted colors as well. Now, another feature that this device does have is in display and it's going to give you the screen record feature inside of there. So basically when you're in display, you're going to notice that we have the option right here where it says, um, let me just show you real quick. So it's actually the last one at the bottom and it says screen record. So you just hit that. And right here, it'll give you the option to show a viewfinder that's small or large, and then basically give you the resolution to record in, and also the time limit and file size, and it can also record the different touch points on your screen recordings. Another thing I like about this device is it does have an audio mode to enhance your, your bass on your phone. You can use it through your Right here, you just long press audio effects and go to the settings. And now you can customize the EQ. It has preloaded ones here. So extreme bass, bass punch, balance, brilliant, vocalizer, and flat. So you could choose between all of these ones right here, which is pretty cool. Another thing I like about this device is it does have media controls. So if you're listening to something and you pause the music, it'll show up here on the control panel and then you can hit whether you want, like let's say you're on a phone call, you can hit that and then it'll let you speak through the loudspeaker the or any other Bluetooth device that you're actually currently using. So another thing that this device does have is something called pick up the silence. So basically you wanna go into the settings option and you wanna type pick up right here and then hit search and then it's gonna show you pick up the silence. And then basically you can click right here and click on because it's gonna, the silence the device right here. Place your phone on the table, it says. It says now, pick it up now. And so then it'll silence the device while you, after, right after you pick it up. And this is going to all be found in sounds, but the next thing I want to show you inside of sounds is flip to D&D &D, and you could pretty much flip your phone down and it'll basically silence the phone as well when it's, it'll actually silence all notifications when you flip it over when it's on um, the front of the phone. And this option right here called, um, right here where you can do media controls and change the key, the songs of your, when the screen is locked, you could change the songs with your volume controls. So it'll go forward and back when the screen is locked for when you're listening to music, which is pretty cool. Now, another thing that's pretty cool is this device does have lift to unlock inside of security. So if you're looking at your device and um, you can swipe, swipe all the way down right here and you can click down here, right here, where it says lift to unlock so that if the phone is actually on a flat surface, just lift it and it's gonna basically unlock with your facial unlock as well. We also have app pinning inside a screen lock, I mean, inside a security, so you could turn that on from here. And basically what you wanna do is when you're inside of an app, you can long hold up right here and then you can click the settings option by long holding at the top. And then it now will show pinning and you can hit that right here and hit got it and now no one can get out of this app unless they use your password or pattern or something but you would have to swipe up for three seconds like that and then it could either detect your face 
or it detect your fingerprint and then now you can get out of it which is cool now another really cool feature inside of this phone is inside of this games menu right here and you can actually hit the gear icon at the top and then hit moto game time and now you can block notifications block calls you can block certain gestures as well as add shortcuts on the sidebar and screen record and gain access to the screen recording features as well as the sidebar features and then you can basically swipe from the edge to get the sidebar features but you would have that game time option for optimized usage when you're gaming. Now another really cool feature about this device is that you can use your interactive wallpapers which is an app right here called interactive wallpapers and this is going to be like wallpapers that actually move around that are very interactive so let's just click one of these i'm going to hit this one and it'll start to download on your device it'll begin to download right here so let's just wait and see for that to show up and we can hit that one whenever it's ready and then you could set it as your wallpaper or your lock screen but now it's my wallpaper and you can see that we have that interactive wallpaper on there so whenever you unlock it or something like that you're gonna see the the let me show you it's gonna actually move on your device and it's gonna look really cool on this it's gonna be tailored just for your Motorola now another thing you might want to know is how do you remove the app tray on here the one that swipes up like that maybe you just want to have all your apps on the home screen because you use the iPhone well hit home settings and then basically all you have to do is go right here where it says home screen style and then you could select the open option but another thing that you can do from that menu is allow screen rotate so when you're inside of the home menu you can rotate the screen just like this and it will rotate with you and then you can use it in this orientation as well but another thing i like that they added on here is the actual google lens inside of the camera so when you are inside of the camera you can hit these three lines right here and it does say that you have an sd card available so you can actually say sure to that and it will start to move all of your apps to it automatically and another thing you want to do is just go into the option where it says um, it's going to have the Google camera lens for you for the photos right here. And you just hit this little tiny box right here on the side, which will get you your Google lens. And basically you can translate text. You can, um, by, by hovering your camera, phone camera over any text and it'll translate that. You can also, um, take copy words out of that text, copy homework as well shopping dining and um, things of that nature and you could take a, a, a photo of food or a menu and it will um, recognize it in the Google lens but let's just say you were you just wanted to find out what something you know pretty much was you can use one of these options it will detect the language it can take a copy of words it can sh uh, search for what something is like maybe let me just take a photo of this guy right here and it's going to actually find matches of what that thing is. So you could kind of match it and search for it online as well. The next thing you want to do is go into camera and you want to turn on the option inside of video inside of settings where it says video stabilization. So you hit videos and then you turn on stabilization so you can actually get stabilized video on this thing. Now another thing you want to do is turn on palm or smile right here. So you hit the settings option for photos and basically it has the AI settings right here. So you can automatically you smile and it'll automatically take a picture or you could put your hand up just like this in front of the camera and it'll take a picture automatically. Another thing I like to do is swipe from the bottom right hand corner and I have quick access to the Google Assistant. What's the weather right now? It's 56 with fog. Today it'll be partly cloudy with a high of 75 and a low of 52. So the next thing you want to do is go to settings right here and then go to um, display and then hit advanced down below. And basically what you're going to be able to do is be able to add a, a message to your device inside of the uh, the lock screen area so once you do that just locate lock screen right here hit that and then go to here where it says add text to lock screen and then you can put like your name 
or like a phone number for people to reach you at if they lose if you lose your phone or something like that but i definitely think it's pretty cool that you get that option you lock the screen that will show up right beneath the time date and day as well now another thing that's going to be right here at your fingertips is for you to add emergency contact information and you can just add the contacts that you want into your emergency contact info right here add the information and then add the contact there as well so you can definitely just go ahead and do that it's going to be right here at the top of your device already asking you to do so now another thing you may want to do is go into um right here where it says apps and notifications you may want to deactivate some of the alerts that you're getting from the emergency wireless alerts here so just go right here you could deactivate all alerts or extreme threats severe threats amber alerts public safety messages local and um, state tests or just anything of that nature or you can just set it for vibration which is pretty cool but the last thing is how to add a weather widget you would just long hold the screen hit widgets and then select the moto weather widget which is going to basically be um, at the bottom moto widget and you select this one right here the classic and this one's going to be pretty cool because it's going to be just that one widget right but if you wanted to do the one where you could switch it in between different modes you can click this option where it says uh widgets and then search for not don't choose the classic this time choose beyond and then you're going to be able to not only have the classic look, but you can swipe down and change it. And so it's pretty customizable. It's really interactive. And I think that's another cool widget. But hopefully these 45 tips, tricks and hidden features did help you out. If it did help you out in any way possible, be sure to leave a like on the video. Subscribe for more videos just like this. Get notified for more videos and i'm going to be in the comment section to answer any one of your questions also be sure to add anything in the comment section that i may have missed in this video but i'm going to get right back with you i'm going to show up on the next video to, um real real quick so hopefully you guys did find this video helpful and i'll check you guys later peace see butler